Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 203. What is type 3 hypersensitivity? Type 3 hypersensitivity is when antigen antibody complexes are formed that are not adequately cleared by the innate immune cells, so therefore these antigen antibody complexes will start accumulating giving rise to an inflammatory response and attraction of leukocytes. So basically, type 3 hypersensitivity is when you have formation of immune complexes. What is the mnemonic to help you remember type 3 hypersensitivity? To help you remember immune complexes are what occurs in type 3 hypersensitivity, just remember that immune complexes are three things stuck together, antigen, antibody, and complement. What are the two type 3 hypersensitivity reaction? The two type 3 hypersensitivity reaction include serum sickness and Arthur's reaction. What is serum sickness? Serum sickness is a type of immune complex hypersensitivity or type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. In this condition, what ends up happening is that when an anti-serum is given, which might be derived from a non-human animal source, the human immune system might mistake the proteins present for harmful antigens, and therefore it will react to it by producing antibodies which will combine with these proteins to form immune complexes. These immune complexes will then enter the wall of the blood vessels and initiate an inflammatory response, and therefore leading to that type 3 hypersensitivity. A few additional things to remember about serum sickness is that now, most of the serum sickness is caused by drugs and not serum. Signs and symptoms of serum sickness includes fever, urticaria or hives, arthralgias, proteinuria, and lymphadenopathy 5 to 10 days after antigen exposure. What is Arthur's reaction? Arthur's reaction is a local subacute antibody-mediated hypersensitivity, which is a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. In this, what ends up happening is that intradermal injection of antigens induce antibodies, which will then form the antigen-antibody complexes in the skin. This condition is characterized by edema, necrosis, and activation of complement. What test is used to diagnose type 3 hypersensitivity? The test used to diagnose type 3 hypersensitivity is immunofluorescent staining because in this you are trying to examine a tissue biopsy for deposits of immunoglobulins and complement and you do this by immunofluorescent microscopy. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.